today, the 25th of July, 2017, many, many years after the mod pack of Tekkit Classic was released, we, we need to ban this. We need to ban Equivalent Exchange 2, because if we don't, we have zero reason to keep playing on this server. And it's, it's a fun mod pack, but what are we going to do? There's that, nothing to do. I mean, Tekkit Classic gets retired? I don't know. I feel like maybe if we just say forget about Equivalent Exchange and just move on to other things, there's a lot more fun to have in this pack, but for right mm. now, we've kind of beaten it all. All right, well, Equivalent Exchange has been banned in three, two, one. <laughs> Hey guys, it is Duke, and welcome to a brand new, old, brand new series. I don't even know how you describe this anymore. We have played Tech It so many times. This is the third Tech It series I've technically, hey, technically ever done. Um, although, this is Tech It 2. This is different. This is a, a little bit of a new situation, a little bit of a different kind of run through here and I'm, I'm really excited for this new adventure there's the word I was thinking of could you tell I was struggling to think of a word to say uh, anyways we are back and it feels absolutely fantastic to be playing uh, one of my favorite mod packs of all time being Tech It Classic so now when I heard Tech It 2 was starting up and that it was on everyone's favorite modded version 1.12.2 uh, you know, I just kind of had to check it out for myself, and, you know, now that I am graduated college and living on my own, I thought, let's load up some of this fax, uh, pure BD craft, and let's get into a modded version, and let's really just start recording again, just like the old days, because, man, it's been a while. This channel's been pretty dead for a long time. I might not have anybody, uh still watching and that is a-okay I understand um, but for those of you who have been around all this time I thank you so very much and for those of you who are just checking this out for the first time welcome and I hope you enjoy I, I'm, I'm excited because we have a lot of the classics yeah industrial craft and build craft all coming back forestry I see the little little guy over there but I'm trying to figure out like oop, I'm trying to figure out what this is um, what do we got? Benny's extra trees. A golden raspberry? That's fantastic. Okay, so we can fill it in the canning machine. That seems pretty typical, but... I guess I don't exactly understand what a golden raspberry is or what purpose it really serves here. Um, but we do have one. And we can't plant them. And what is this? That's a really cool stem. It's not quite a log. But I, I like it nevertheless. And it is taking a very long time. Break. Okay, we did actually get two saplings. So we'll be able to grow one again and just stare at one deeply in thought. Uh, I don't know. Let's find a rubber tree sapling and let's get going though. Now that we've got ourselves a stone pickaxe, we can make ourselves a tree tap here. Yes, I don't really know why a stone pickaxe would be a prerequisite. Um, for the tree tap, but that's <laughs> That doesn't matter. Okay, here we go. I thought I saw one you guys remember way back um, Where they had I think it was just two blocks up in the middle So now it seems like it's three or maybe it's always been three and I'm just forgetting um, That is entirely possible um, My dog just decided to crawl through my legs right as I started recording I don't know how he did that or why he did that, but uh, he's probably very confused why I'm talking into a microphone at my desk when I've never done that since he's been alive. This is a new dog, and he's very sweet, and I love him. And I hope he sticks around for a long, long time. Um, but guys, I'm just going to collect some wood. I'm going to get some stone, the basic materials, and I'll be back with you in a short while. All right, we've got ourselves a little bit of cobblestone here to start off. Just cleared out a little bit of an area. I was able to gather uh, just a little bit of iron and a little bit of coal down here. Um, for the most part, I was just using charcoal ahead of time because I dug most of this before I found any of the goodies on the side. I don't know. It just seems like 
I could have been a little bit more <laughs> efficient with how I did this, but there's something so cathartic and relaxing about using a stone pickaxe uh, and just kind of going strip mining um, to start a world. You know, I, I know a lot of people, especially in kind of these modern run-throughs of the game, is that you find a cave that leads down as low as it goes, you dive on in, get as many pieces of iron and diamonds as quickly as possible and just immediately have the most efficient and powerful kind of gear in the game. But I don't know, something relaxing about having um, a few little bits of stone, pickaxe, and axe time, just, you know, giving them their shot at glory. So I think that's what we've done. Um, as you can see, I've cleared out just a little bit of an area as well up here, not to mention you know, the cobblestone area below. And I think really what the goal is here is to find our spot. So I think what we're going to do here is I'm going to build myself a little bit of a hut, a little bit of something to go, gather up some animals because I've seen each type, and uh, kind of get going on some crops and stuff because it is seeming to get dark out and I'm going to have to hide down in the little hole again or get my sheep all sheared up so I can actually sleep. Um, but I think this is a pretty good little spot I've got, you know, this little hill behind us, little pond right there, a couple snow-capped peaks off in the distance, and a nice little bay that hopefully leads out to something more grand off in the distance. But I think for now, it is time to get all the vanilla stuff out of the way. Alright, just gonna bring everybody back for a second so we can kind of look over the progress that's been made, and obviously the lack of a finished build. Um, but just something a little bit, what is going on with this tree here? Oh my. Oh no, what did I do? Oh, either way, it's now even more messed up. Um, but one of the things I've noticed working with these Forge Micro Blocks that I seem to all being different back in Tekkit Classic is that we are now able to have significantly more variety and significantly more detail put into these because now more than one can occupy a block here. I, I don't recall this being the same situation in Tekkit Classic. I seem to recall that you could only use one type of forge micro block per block. So that would make something like this nearly impossible. Uh, but now we've gone ahead and figured out a way to kind of add a little bit more detail in doing this. And I think I kind of like this post on the end here. Uh, there's still some things I could do to play around with it a little bit. Um, but I'm interested in what you guys think for this kind of really thin line that runs across uh, where it goes from the base to the main walls here. So on, on this side of the foundation, we have this thicker one, the post, and on this side, the strip. And I think they both do their own thing. Uh, I, I don't really know which one I like better, uh, but I need to figure out how to kind of interrupt this really harsh breakage where it's just you know one grayscale color and then you start getting into the more of the yellow here and I think just extending the the pillars a little bit higher uh, in the foundation has worked a little bit additionally I went ahead and tried to figure out some windows and obviously these are really basic but what do we think about having something that's a little bit different for the lower sill there kind of to give it a little bit more of maybe it's a planter or some you know like a window box having just a little bit of something extra there um, i think it could be something of use that we look into but as you can see i've got a lot of work to do i'm feeling pretty good with where we're getting to here and i think we're at a pretty decent spot for today as far as building goes I don't know, it just feels like everything takes a little bit longer when you're working with the micro blocks, which certainly has its positives and its negatives. Overall, I am pretty satisfied with kind of this point we're getting to though in the house. Uh, I think overall the form is here and from an exterior kind of shot, I think it looks fairly finished. Um, there's of course a lot more detail that could go into the tower. I think I left it kind of plain on purpose just to Kind of get a gist of what it's going to look like as well as this bridge here i think there's a lot of open canvas space still yet to do and in, in these peak roofs but i think overall i've i've learned quite a bit more with the micro blocks than i had previously you know it's just one of those things where you kind of pick it up as you go 
Um, and I think eventually we'll get to the point where I really have some good tips and tricks that I think everybody would be interested in, in hearing about or maybe just stuff for me to review because I feel like one of those things is I'm going to learn a lot and then I'm going to forget it if I don't really write it down. So if you guys would be interested in that, I think we'll get to that at some point. Uh, but just looking over briefly just kind of how these details all work, um, working with you know, this kind of really strong foundation here and then adding a little bit of darkness around the windowsill which really pops it um, as you go up to the second level having it jut out a little bit and then being able to use micro blocks here to create um, this wood stair so the wood stair is not actually a texture that's available in the game um, but through the use of wood slabs uh, the full block slabs as you can see here kind of picks it up as I mouse over it um, we can put them together and it kind of creates that wood stair effect and I think it's pretty successful here another kind of element I used was going from this darker we have the oak quote unquote debarked is what, what it's called here it's, uh, it's a mod that basically just goes with the stripped woods a little bit earlier because I guess they're not available yet um, in this version of Minecraft a couple other things like campfires and barrels and lanterns that I've not have access to but it's okay we will figure it out we will be more creative as time goes um, but again I think having this dark color here and then going to the birch up top I think will really adds to the verticality of the project here um, along with some different roof lines and of course the tower if we do just take a quick peek inside you'll see it's pretty empty at the moment and I think that is something between episodes I want to work on uh, I just kind of had inspiration for how i want to lay this out um but i think as we go further i want to really dress it up and really make it beautiful right now it is quite empty um so i'm, I'm thinking here as you walk in uh, you know i originally had this pulled out to here and i decided to step it back a little bit so we'd have a little bit of a porch and then just a little bit of a seating area that looks out on one side down to the basement which will be my temporary storage room and then kind of this fixed dining and living room uh, move into the little bit of a galley kitchen here. Uh, I really like how the wooden planks almost look like little shelves, little cabinets, and I think kind of using that here and then the micro blocks to give the countertop a little bit of a lip. When we move to the good old fireplace here, I realized that I didn't have access to campfire, so until we get magma blocks, which I think we're going to have to go to the nether for because I don't know if room tools are in this version. Uh, we have a coal block there to kind of act like that. And if we work our way up, very open, very unfinished here. I just kind of have a bed in the middle right next to this just loft space, which you could just fall off and die. But, you know, it's not exactly compliant to any building codes, but we'll get there. Um, and then there's kind of a little bridge over here. Um, that moves us through. Oh, I don't have a window in here. Ignore that. Uh, and lighting is still something we really need to work on. But one thing I really like to add to builds and just give a little bit of variety is adding these staircases um, that really just act as if it's a room divider. And I think that's something here that's just so simple. Just you go up a little bit and then down. And then when you go to circulate up this way, it almost feels like you're already in a different spot. And then you also have the color and you know, the whole form kind of changes and I think that just adds to that. Up here, I think this is really where my micro block use started to flourish here. So adding in kind of these slabs or, or these, what are they? The pillars, yeah, if you center them on the block, you can actually um, throw in what is um, a panel here on top and it really just kind of emphasizes the column and also separates uh, walls here from the overall pillar and I think I think it works pretty well we've got a kind of a gentle archway slope through here and this sits high enough where I'm pretty excited for it I really liked this bit I noticed when I was building this it's almost like an alpha natural generation and I am a massive massive fan of that uh, but guys I think for the most part here we are just about ready to wrap things up for today Enjoy the W's for the most part we were again thinking to stay pretty vanilla focused uh, obviously working with the micro blocks was a little bit different I've already started to clap a little bit of resin for next time and then I did make an iron furnace which of course is 
want to call it our first industrial craft 2 machine here but i think really the next focus is all the basic machines starting to work with some build craft pipes and such in the next episode uh but for today i think we're gonna call it there i thank you so ever much for watching and i hope you did enjoy now that we're back and if you did please be sure to leave a like below i'll see you guys next time have a good day bye bye